hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this gradient animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you want to support this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and share this video as much as you can and also hit the like button so it will motivate me to create more and more content like this so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition i'm gonna name it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration we will take a uh, 30 second long duration and background color is white color and simply hit ok now press ctrl y on your keyboard and let's call it as gradient color one and hit ok like this now go to the effect and presets panel and type 4 so you will get this 4 color gradient so simply double click to apply now after applying this color as you guys know that we have 4 different gradients now we will follow the trend of one particular color so let's choose purple so we will this choose this one and color 2 we will choose the same color but we will choose a variant of that color like this over here i am going to select the darker version of this and over here I am going to choose something like this now select this let's move this over here let's move this one over here select this let's move this one over here and select this and let's move this one over here now select this gradient color create one keyframe on point 1 on point 2 on point 3 and point 4 and hit U zoom in a little bit go to around one second let's move this point over here this point over here this point over here and this point over here go to around two seconds move this one over here this one over here this one over here and this one over here go to three seconds this one should be here this one should be here this one over here and this one over here and go to around four seconds and simply control c control v the initial keyframes so if you see this we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframe and hit F9 to engineize those keyframe. Alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression. Hit Ctrl A to copy that expression. Hit Ctrl C. I oh, sorry. Hit Ctrl A to select this and hit Ctrl C to copy this expression. And Alt click on this one and simply hit Ctrl V, Ctrl V, and Ctrl V. So as you guys can see, we will get something like this. Now select this gradient color one. I'm going to create this composition so press ctrl shift c and move all attributes into the new composition and we will delete this comp one and we will name it as only gradient color one and simply hit ok now we will choose this ellipse tool i don't want any stroke so let's delete the stroke i want fill color or and create one color and by holding shift let's create one ellipse now select this hit ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s and scale this size somewhere around like this press f4 select this gradient color one and in track mat i am going to choose alpha mat so if you see this thing now we will get something like this hit u hit ctrl a to select both of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as fair one and hit ok now right click go to the layer styles and choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss increase the softness also increase the size of it like this let's increase the softness totally up to something like this and depth let's choose 50 and shadow color i am going to choose somewhere around let's say something like this or let's say this and hit ok and if you hit play we will get this kind of animation okay now let's go inside this pair now i'm going to select this ellipse and i'm going to create one ellipse over here press ctrl alt home like this and go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect let's choose gaussian blur double click to apply and increase the blurriness totally up to something like this 
let's go to the main animation we will get something like this okay let's increase it press s let's scale it select this hit ctrl d and let's delete this caution below press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this so we'll get something like that this is the not compulsory if you don't want that then you can delete this also but over here we will get this kind of stuff now select this pair press s and scale it somewhere around like this now go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title section and let's move this over here hit ctrl d and let's move this thing over here select this pair hit ctrl d now go to the effect i mean go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and bring this downwards press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this also select the spare hit ctrl d let's move this let's scale it somewhere around like this select this hit ctrl d select this let's scale it like this select this hit ctrl d let's scale it like this so as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff and let's go inside this gradient we will hit u we will select all these keyframes and by holding ctrl we will remove this easy knees so we will get this continuity in our animation now select all the spares i mean this all four layers press s let's unlink these things and all we need to do we need to write the minus sorry oops sorry. hit ctrl z let's deselect and let's whatever value it has let's simply type minus of that value like this so we will get these things in different directions okay now right click new and i'm going to create one null object i'm going to select this space and i'll make it apparent with this null one select this null one let's rotate it like this which means minus 90 create one keyframe over here go few frame forwards i mean around let's say two seconds and let make this plus 90 like this select those pairs press r for rotation create one keyframe over here go to around six seconds or let's make this one and one so we will get this kind of rotation animation for this one and you can go inside this pair you can select this press T for opacity and you can decrease the opacity like this so we will get something like that you can go over here let's make this 2 and let's make this minus 2 so now both of them will rotate in different direction let's go over here or let's say 2 only okay now go to the start press s for scaling option create one keyframe go over here create another keyframe go to the start let's make this zero select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here like this let's move this keyframe to around 1.5 frames like this now select this last keyframe and hit f9 so if you see this we will get something like this now at this point i am going to select this one and this one and press p for position create one keyframe each over here go to around four second select this one and let's move this over here select this one and let's move this over here now select both the keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here okay so if you see this animation now we will get something like this okay now let's go inside this gradient now right click new and create one adjustment layer and we'll go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for twill effect let's double click to apply and if you increase this twill we will get this kind of gradient and now if you see over here 
we will get something like this so let's go over here from the start we will get this kind of stuff okay and now we will add some drop shadow effects on this so see like this one and let's go to this gradient and as you can see my my last uh, animation point is at four seconds so make sure that all of them are going out of this composition at four seconds only so select this and let's move this over here and hit n so now we will get this kind of loop or you can select this scaling over here also so it will scale a little bit smoother and make this full resolution now select this topmost layer right click go to the layer style or instead of that simply select this go to the effect and presets and search for drop shadow effect let's increase the distance to 20 softness to 100 opacity to 20 like this let's increase the distance to 50 also increase the softness to 200 and let's make this 40 okay let's make this 25 this 80 let's see what we will get okay now select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c select all of them and simply hit ctrl v to paste it so we will get something like this now we will select this one which is my this layer and in color i am going to choose white color for this one let's increase the opacity to 50 and also change the direction over here like this now select this drop shadow effect i'm going to select this fifth one let's delete this drop shadow and hit ctrl v select this one delete this and hit ctrl v select this delete this one and hit ctrl v let's make this cut resolution we we'll get something like this and you can select this one also and you can choose white color for this one and I think we need to choose white color so it looks quite good now another thing we need to do we need to create one ellipse and we don't want any fill so I'll delete this fill uh, for the stroke I'm going to choose white color and simply hit ok and we will create one ellipse like this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center uh, go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this press s and scale it like this go to the star create one keyframe over here like this and for the stroke i am going to choose 30 or let's say 50 go to one second and let's move this over here select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph let's zoom in go to the start move this handle over here and this handle over here so we'll get something like this let's make this cut resolution let's move this to two seconds like this now select this go to the effect and presets and search for blur effect Gaussian blur let's increase the value to 100 and choose repeat edge pixels and if you want then you can change the softness or you can choose the overlay effect also like this hit u and let's bring this after the fifth layer so it will come out of this or if you want then you can select this hit ctrl x you can go to the spare one and hit ctrl v and you can bring this downwards so it will come out of each and every one but as you can see we will get this kind of deflect so for to get rid of that what we can do simply hit u and press t create one keyframe over here hit u go over here and let's make this zero and select those keyframes and hit f9 and after that press f4 and make sure to enable these options like this so we will get something like this now after that go to the spare one let's go to one second select this one hit ctrl d let's move this over here go to around two second hit ctrl d move this over here 
go to around 3 seconds, hit Ctrl D, let's move this over here, go to around 4 seconds, hit Ctrl D, move this over here, go to around 5 seconds, hit Ctrl D, move this over here, go to around 6 seconds, hit Ctrl D, let's move this over here, make sure it is at 6 seconds like this, now go to the start, select all of them and let's move this thing over here. Now if you go to the main animation, we will get this kind of continuous effect in our animation like this. Now let's select this pair, right click, reveal and reveal layer in source project and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now we will select this four layers and by holding Alt, we will replace it with this pair too. Now double click and select all this thing press U like this press Ctrl Shift C and let's call it as glowing wave and hit OK and make don't forget to click on this icon press T and let's make this 50 like this so it will reduce the opacity of this one like this ok now right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect now let's make this 98 glow threshold or let's say 90 glow radius 100 like this and glow intensity let's choose 0.5 so if you see we will get this kind of animation And this is how you can create this kind of gradient looking animations. And there is another thing you can do. You can select this null object, press R for rotation. And if you think after that you want the continuous rotation. So for that what you can do, let's go over here. Select this rotation, hold control. And let's make this 180. And we will bring this all up to here. Like this so if you see this animation now we will get this kind of animation which is also gonna be in the form of loop so you'll get something like this and you if you want more rotation so you can make this 360 also we will get something like this and let's suppose if um, this is a continuous rotation so select this null object hit enter and let's call it as rotation okay so this is for continuous rotation and now what i want is that at one second to two seconds i want a little bit of rotation over here so let's select this right click and new and create one null object now select this continuous rotation and make it parent with this null one select this null one press r for rotation create one keyframe go to two seconds and let's make it 180 so if you see we will get something like this and I, at this point i want it to rotate or let's make this 270 now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here now let's go to the star like this if you think the animation is too much let's make this 180 and let's see and you can shift those keyframes to here also like this let's go inside this spare one yeah this looks good to me so yep this is how you can create this kind of continuous animations you can select the spares hit u let's see okay so yep this is gonna be our final animation let's select this let's move this over here select this let's move this over here 
let's select those key position keyframes and we will hit F9 and go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here okay So this is how you can create this kind of gradient spare animations. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.